Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of Nigerian newspapers. And I begin with the leadership newspaper. The major story here. Insecurity, waves of change as Tinubu rejects NIA DSS. Mohammed replaces Rufai. Ajay takes over from BG. Experts set agenda for new DGs. And another story here, Niger Gartner redeems 250 millionaire pledge to leadership young person of the year. That's a good one. Atiku Muazu Lamido pay tribute to Emir of Ningi. Professor emerges look at government chairmanship candidate, Burundi commissioner found dead in own room. And uh, MPOX, parasitologists seek increased awareness. Some of the stories you find on the front page of the leadership newspaper. To this Nigeria newspaper, as the nation faces security challenges, DSS, DG DSS, NIA out. Ajayi replaces Bichi as secret police boss. Mohammed takes charge at NIA. Reorganization imminent in security. Aparachik soars is quoted as saying that. And now the downstrip here, police confirm arrest of 97 Shiites over attack on officers in Abuja. Benue kidnapped Kingpin killed, two arrested during medical students' rescue, says IGP. And uh, the weak flags of construction of Abuja ultra-modern bus terminal. That's the picture story there. Bonu Finance Commissioner dies, Tinubu Kandu's Zulu. Some stories on the front page of this Nigeria newspaper. To the Daily News Hub, still talking about the slain officers, police arrested 97 Shiites at lunch, manhunt for sex uh, sponsors, declare IMN members have murdered peace. Tinubu Sachs, DSSDG, appoints new boss for NIA. And uh, another story here, Edo Guba Appeal Court affirms Igor Dalu's nomination as PDP candidate, dismisses Ojezwa's uh, appeal for lacking merit. And uh, Flood destroys 14,940 houses in Sakuto. That's really a concerning one there. And uh, Noji Mayegu, Nigeria's first ever Olympic medalist, dies at 83. Those are some of the stories you find on the front page of the Daily News Hub. To the voice of liberty now, insecurity. No rest until Nigeria is safe. IGP Egberto Kun is quoted as saying, and... Uh, Replace humanitarian ministry with National Social Security Agency in work hotels at Tinubu. And no excuse for failure to halt crude oil theft. Or Konjo Riala is quoted as saying that. And another story here. NBA conference Tinubu reaffirms commitment to rule of law tolerance. Some story on the front page of uh, the Voice of Liberty and Dangote also announcing readiness to rule out petrol from refinery. All right, to the front page of the Daily Trust now. Days after killing Emir, bandits abduct 150 in Gobia. All right, a story on the front page there. To the platform Times now, 1,400 schools raised, 2,295 teachers killed in Nigeria since 2009. A report is saying that on the front page of the platform Times, as stakeholders, lawmakers call for a unified regulatory framework to empower CSOs. And uh, a story here, why we drive away Chinese shut their factory. Cross River Utes are quoted as saying that. And uh, another story here. Kogi PDP moves for Dino Milaya's suspension, described Senator as liability. All right. Those are some stories on the front page of the Platform Times. And to 
the first news newspaper aged out will federal government's new 18-year policy for WAEC neco boost or hinder education that's the question being asked uh, a lot of persons are concerned about this new policy and uh, the downstrip here Tinubu applauds Nigeria's GDP growth by 3.19 percent in second quarter of 2024 and food prices surge over 200% in July 2024, says NBS report, as the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics uh, quoted as saying that. Resident doctors commend seven-day warning uh, because of uh, their member who has been, uh, who was kidnapped about eight months ago. They are protesting uh, seemingly. With, and asking government to do something about that. Now, Tinubu appoints uh, Muhammad NIA DG, Ajayi DSS DG. And NNPCL expands LNG supply to Japan, China. Some stories on the front page of the first news newspaper. To the Nigerian Tribune now. The Patriots step up move for new Nigeria constitution. As the writers there sets up 17 man advocacy committee, Killer Heads team, to begin consultations with National Assembly members, other stakeholders. Ayoku speaks on Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, Sudan, Canada, reiterates why now is the best time to have new constitution. Police arrest 11 as masked men in NDLA military uniform hijack multi millionaire Tramador in Lagos. Residents of Plateau and Farah Niger mining communities live in fear over constant bandit attacks. AMCON intensified recovery efforts enlist international asset traces. And uh, some of the stories you find on the front page of the Nigeria Tribune. To the Punch newspaper now, Federal Government has shot air and fuel stations as petrol hits 1,000 Naira per litre. Queues persist in NPCL, major marketer stations as uh, PMS shortage worsens. Right. When 36 euro bound African migrants rescued at a Spanish port. Another story here. Was as to NUTD far as FG bans under 18 candidates. Kidnap doctor patients grown as uh, not strike not strike grounds hospitals. Some stories there on the front page of the Punch newspaper and to the Daily Times. GDP growth in Uber shores strong economic performance. Says federal government will continue to work assiduously to rekindle Nigerians' hope and confidence appoints new directors general of NIE DSS. That's the major story there on the front page of the Daily Times. Alamide. I begin here with uh, the nation. The big story here says uh, GDP surge points to an economy on the right part. MBS links uh, growth to industry services sector. The 2024 appeal court affirms a Godalio as PDP candidate and E.J. Henbach APC standard bearer. Pueblo Obaseki's wife launches a party's women's campaign and a Shomale calls for withdrawal of illegal apps. Another story here says uh, Ajayi replaces BJ as uh, DSS DG. Mohammed takes over at NIA. Nigeria's first individual Olympic medalist Maigo dies at 83. Accelerated Stabilization Advancement Economic Plan takes off. Initiative to boost economic development. Uh, this initiative is led by the Finance Minister, Mr. Waliedu. Under 18 pupils barred from rights in WAEC neck examinations. That's on page 2 of uh, the nation. 97 held for killing of two policemen in Abuja attack. Inspector General orders manhunts for sponsors assailants to impact cases in Oshun State. Some stories on the front page of the nation. To the Guardian, President Tinubu hints at economic recovery amid inflation deficits, deficits uh, rather concerns. IPOP threatens violence, alleges ethnic cleansing in Imo. 
Fala no rallies NBA against illegal arrest detention by police orders. A massive drop in enrollment threatens existence of unity schools. All right. Uh, another story here says that Amcon enlists international traces to recover five trillion naira assets from debtors. Opposition walking for president in Abu's second term. Lukman alleges a nod begins a one in strike demands immediate rescue of kidnapped members. Some stories on the front page of the Guardian to the salient times. Nigeria's GDP rose by 3.19%. In the second quarter, that's according to the National Bureau of Statistics. President Tinubu reacts, says economy on right trajectory. Outreach as Education Minister says under 18 will no longer take WIAC neck examinations. Ahmed Ali, Boronu Commissioner for Finance, found dead in his room. Sad one there. You have murdered peace. IGP orders IMN sponsors manhunt. Uh, Quranic teacher arrested for abducting and sodomizing a Marjorie boys in Bochi. And on the bottom strip, NMPCL announces LNG shipment to Japan, China. Some stories on the front page of the salient types to Nigeria News Directs. Once again, Nigeria's GDP grows by 3.19% in the second quarter of 2024. That's according to the National Bureau of Statistics. The writer there says ICT's contribution to Nigeria's real GDP hits 19.78% as health sector grows by 2.41%. Kojo Wiala calls for stable economic policies to revive Nigeria's GDP. Federal government nullifies over 22,700 degrees from fake Togo, Benin Republic, versities. And uh, President Dinobo appoints new NIA DSS DG. Some stories on uh, the front page of Nigeria News Dialect, Direct rather, to the Daily Independent. Despite odds, Nigerian airlines get more aircraft to delight travelers. That's on uh, the year-end festivities. 3.2% uh, GDP growth excites President Tinubu analysts seek improvement in critical sectors. Appeal court nullifies ruling uh, 14 PDP primaries. That's on uh, do uh, governorship election. Importers look to local dairy industry on back of rising FX rates. CBN lifts ban on standard lending rates, pegs interest rates at 31.75%. Uh, Banks to earn 25.75% on deposit with the CBN. Fresh update to merge as uh, Aquino gets uh, ministerial approval. Some stories on the front page. Of Daily Independent, to business day, stock deals jump 44% on banks recapitalization. Feds a rate court seen uh, giving Bertrand Naira Breeder. Amcon intensifies asset recovery and lists international traces. Some stories on the front page of the business day to business AM. Nigeria requires 18.